At this point, why don't we practice removing and reattaching the handpiece? To do that, just firmly grab the handpiece in one hand and the metal tip of your shaft and sheath in the other and give it a good firm yank. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. It's quite that simple. To put it back on, what you would do is, two, there's two methods. One of the methods that a lot of people like to use is slowly start spinning the shaft. Put your handpiece on very slowly. And the key tip will realign automatically into the keyway of the spindle. And when that happens, the chuck or your collet or your burr will start spinning slowly. When that happens, just firmly press it on and you're going to hear a click. Now, if you're not that comfortable with doing that while it's running, you can do it another way. What you can do, you look down the, your handpiece towards the keyway and you'll see that there's a letter C. That gap in the C is the keyway slot in your spindle. Try and align that with the key tip and When that's ready, snap it on. Now that we've learned how to take your handpiece on and off, we're going to learn a little bit about changing out accessories in and out of your handpiece. Accessories come in different sizes and shapes and different materials. They can be anything from a drill bit to a brush to a burr to a bob um, to a buff to a mandrel. This is our number 30 handpiece. It's our most popular handpiece. It comes in our 2230 Jewelers Kit and our 2272 General Purpose Kit. The reason it's so popular is it's very versatile. It has a three jawed chuck that opens up to 5 30 seconds of an inch. In other words, when you change out your burrs, and I'm taking out a 1 8 inch burr now and putting in a 3 30 second, you can have a lot of different burrs in there. This is our 44T. It's a collet style handpiece. It's the most popular handpiece in our wood carving line, and the reason of that is it allows you to use the largest shank burrs, quarter inch, out of all of our handpieces. Let me show you how to change out a burr and the collet. The reason you might want to change out a collet is because with the collet style handpieces, the collets are specific to the size of the shank that you have. In other words, a quarter inch collet goes with the quarter inch shank burr. Let me show you how to do that. You need a pin and wrench and you put the pin into the spindle to lock it and the wrench on the flats of the chuck nut and then you would spin that out. As you can see this is your quarter inch burr. I'm going to change out the collet to a 3 32nd inch burr. This is a 3 32nd inch collet. Let me show you how we do that. It might take you a while to undo your chuck nut. What the chuck nut does is it screws down and tightens on the collet to tighten it in place. Now let me show you the inside here. This is the collet and I'm going to change out the quarter inch collet for a 3 32nd inch collet. Here's your quarter inch collet. Put the 332nd inch collet in. We put the chuck nut back on. Screw that down. Takes a little while. Get all the way down there and tight. Then you put in your accessory or burr. Put that in there all the way down. And then you tighten it up with the wrench on the flats. Always remember to take the pin out before you operate this handpiece because it locks the spindle and it won't be moving at all when you do that. Another type of rotary handpiece is our quick change handpiece. It doesn't require any pin and wrench or chuck key to remove your accessory or burr or drill bit. The downside about that is, is that it only accepts 2.35 millimeter or 332nd inch shank burrs. That's standard though in the jewelry industry and the dental laboratory industry, so they find that it's very helpful. To change them, you either move the lever, push-pull, or uh, um, press a lever. There's many different methods. This is our number 20. It's in our number 2220 kit. It's a very popular one. 
to remove this, you would move the lever up 90 degrees, pull the burr out, and exchange it for another one, and plop the lever back parallel to the handpiece. 